magkaroon maghimo ta og red velvet cake, the first thing to do is prepare the 2 and 1 half cup of all purpose of flour. Add the 2 teaspoon of baking powder, 1 half a teaspoon of salt, and 1 teaspoon of baking soda. And then 1 fourth cup of uh, cocoa powder. Then after that, mix all the dry ingredients very well. And make sure you're gonna, gonna mix first the dry ingredients. Then the next stuff you're gonna do is we're gonna do the buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk at home, you can use fresh milk and add two tablespoons of vinegar and that's it. Then after that, we're gonna mix the sugar, the granulated sugar, one and a half cup of granulated sugar with one cup of softened butter then we need in this recipe we need to use the hand mixer because it need to be mixed well with a butter sugar and the cooking oil the one fourth cup of cooking oil later on we mix this one first and we make sure we don't have any lumps with the sugar and the sugar will be melted so well that's the best thing to have a very nice consistency of cake that's the one fourth cup of cooking oil that we added you can reduce the sugar if you don't want it so sweet four eggs we need four eggs in this and we three eggs. i mean three eggs Sorry, I feel confused. We need only three eggs and we mix the eggs one at a time. Then later on, we're gonna add the vanilla extract on this. This vanilla extract is for the smells so that it will nice. When you are cooking your cake, it smells nice then. And then the buttermilk aside, we're gonna add the food coloring, the red food coloring onto the buttermilk. And you cannot measure, just, just, uh, yung tanpiahin mo lang mo, yung color niya that it will become red. Kasi minsan, kung konti lang yung nilalagay mo na color, hindi siya magiging red. So, hindi na siya red velvet, magiging brown siya. So, you should have add more red coloring. So, it will come out red. Since we're making red velvet cake then, Tapos, ano, ayun na siya. I-add natin yung dry ingredients niya. Half-half muna para ma-mix natin siya properly. And I didn't mention that the in this video, I forgot to on the oven. Before you mix the butter, you should have to on the oven first so that it will be heated up into 15 minutes. And then before you can pop up the cake. But this time, I forgot. So, pardon and i already prepared two round baking pan for this lined by a baking sheet so that it will be easy to take out the cake on the pan when it's cook so we have to make sure that you cannot uh, you know when you touch the butter you cannot feel the sugar should be melted well because if the sugar is not melted well then your cake will be burnt inside all them and that's it we're gonna transfer it into our baking tin and then This recipe can prepare for 20 minutes and then can be cooked on the oven only for 30 minutes and then can be served 14 to 12 people. And they're so easy to use. And by the way, this is what I told you that I forgot to on the oven before I make the butter. So I will on the oven and let it. Bye.
guys. So, karon atong i-mix ang atong cream, cream cheese frosting. So, this is a 500 grams of cream cheese. So, we're gonna use half of it. It's 250 grams. And then, one cup of softened butter. Ang kalahati ng butter is yung ginamit ko nung bake, nag, yung ginawa kong butter ng cake. So, half of it for the frostings. And, inilabas ko na siya a few hours before ako magbibake. Kasi para ano siya, malambot na siya. At madali siya i-mix. Mas maganda na soft yung butter nyo. Bago nyo siya i-mix sa hand mixer. Kasi maganda yung consistency. So, yung sugar natin is 4 cups of icing sugar. And, na isala ako na to. I already sifted it. Add a few, maybe one tablespoon of fresh milk. Kasi ayoko siyang magiging masyadong matigas yung frosting. I want it a bit soft. Then a squeeze of lemon. Half of the lemon. I squeeze it and then the shredded skin of the lemon. A bit only. Para mas, para mas malasahan mo yung parang lemon na lasa niya. Mas masarap siya. Just to boost the flavor sa frostings. Yan guys. Ganun lang. Madali lang siya gawin and hindi ko siya nilagyan ng vanilla extra kasi ayoko siyang magiging itim. Gusto ko white, plain white yung frosting ng aking red velvet cake. And this time, maybe okay na. Malamig na yung cake natin. Yan, dalawang bilog-bilog na yan. Yun na yun siya paglabas ng oven. And then ngayon, i-decorate na natin siya. Lagyan natin siya ng frosting. And this time, hindi ko, hindi ko to siya arti-artihan. Just put some frosting and then go. Kasi pang merienda lang to ng mga amo ko. Ng mga alaga ako. And for me na rin. Kaya ayan, ganyan lang siya guys. Simple lang yung design. Kasi after that, kakainin lang din naman. Diba? Anyway guys, if you like this video, please do like and subscribe and share. And kung gusto nyo po yung subukan at gawin yung recipe na to, ay just the, click the description box below kasi ilalagay ko doon yung buong written recipe nito. And then, just the comments if you tried it mas masarap siya I already tried the other recipe of red velvet cake but this one is the best ganyan lang siya ganyan very smooth siya so sana ganyan lang siya guys simply lang basta ma ma coat lang siya ng frosting ang important ma coat siya ng frosting and cream cheese at saka huwag nyong tipirin yung cream cheese nyo kasi mas masarap siya pag marami siyang cream cheese and konti lang yung sugar nyo.